Well, there's been a lot of work in parallel, uh, working with our managers, supporting them uh, to give feedback, um, dealing and supporting with them uh, to deal with poor performance. Um, that's happened um, in a number of different ways. I've been pretty direct, actually, in conversations that I've had with the management cohort. Um, I really remember, um, it'll be about three years ago now, maybe four, three years ago now, the performance um, uh, appraisals had been done and the results came in. And um, there was the bell curve, you know, except at MFE, there didn't appear to be a bell curve. <laughs> there was this kind of slab um, of exceptional performers and this little kind of thing over here with three people in it in an organisation of 300 um, who weren't meeting expectations. Uh, so unfortunately for my managers that then resulted in, in a lecture about the 2500 year history of the bell curve and how the mathematics was sound, the experiments had been done and the bell curve was a real thing and I expected to see it. Could they please go back? and present me with a bell curve. It took me two years, but I got one. So the thesis was, this is going to be a high performing organisation, so our expectations of our staff are universally high. Within that, if you like, expectation of high performance, mm. there are going to be uber high performance, mm. satisfactorily high performance, and just common garden high performance. Mm. There's still going to be a bell curve. That, as it turns out, was a particularly important part of the point of the journey um, because actually it challenged my managers to say, well, actually, in your teams, there are people who are performing really well and there are people that you are worried about. Mm. Please tell me the truth mm. and please do the work with people um, that, that are actually not delivering. Mm.